Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Home Trader Club. Welcome to the weekly Forex forecast. Before the chart, big thanks to Edka Broker for continuously supporting our amazing community and to enjoy all the special offers we have with Edka Broker, including the access to Home Trader Club the private mentoring sessions, the live trading rooms for day trading, trading strategies, the indicators, anything of your choice, please refer to the link below this video in the description. Quick fundamental before the charts, this week is all about the rates. It's going to be a massive week, a week that everyone been waiting for, well, besides the debate between uh, Trump and Harris. Uh, so uh, it all starts with uh, uh, bank holiday in China on Monday, but then big, big, big week ahead of us. CPI in Canada, uh, retail sales and core retail sales in the US. And then from um, Wednesday, we have the CPI in Britain as well. And rates in the US, the job market and unemployment market in Australia, GDP in New Zealand, uh, cash rate in uh, uh, Britain. We then have the cash rate in Japan uh, and uh, if that's enough we have retail sales uh, in both uh, UK and uh, Canada. Super busy week when the whole focus of the market is going to be of course the rates in the US and the rates uh, in Britain and Japan. According to the expectations, uh, at least according to the majority or the biggest percentage, uh, the rate the Federal Reserve should cut the rate by 25 points. There are about 20% chance or less for 50 points cut. So the main thing here would be what will come at the press conference. How will the Fed uh, like estimate the next steps? Is it going to be each next meeting quarter percent? Is it going to be just quarter and let's see? Is it going to be half percent and that's it? It's all about that. That's what should dictate the um, way the next waves will be developed in the market. Okay, in Britain, uh, the expectations for not no cut this time, uh, which is significant. Uh, in Japan, the rumors talk about further uh, hikes, um, but it's it's nothing but rumors for now. So pay attention. This is going to be very very important week. And with that being said, uh, it's important to remember that. When you make your analysis and the trading plan, pay attention to news. They could boost the waves you are anticipating, but they also could change. And then we have to reanalyze the chart. So make sure to pay attention closely. So uh, let's begin. The first pair for us is the euro dollar. Uh, we discussed about uh, the scenario of A, B, C, D last week with then... Uh, bullish continuation. Let's take a look on the numbers. Where does it all stand? Uh, here, Euro dollar. This is the market trend snapshot. One of the features in Home Trader Club. According to the numbers, we are all positive. Monthly is still above half percent, uh, and the weekly and the, the last seven days, 24 hours are flat. Basically, the market is preparing and waiting for the Fed. As simple as that. But the momentum is still bullish. So let's uh, analyze the scenarios we have here. What is this like? Uh, so there are a couple of scenarios the euro should follow or could follow. One of them is the completion of this cycle towards this important major, I would say, supply zone here in these couple of areas. If that is correct, which is very likely, the euro should complete this rally should complete the weekly cycle and from there very likely we would uh, face the sales. Another scenario which of course could uh, develop uh, accordingly is that after the break of the big weekly range the euro is going to make deeper retest. Uh, check out this volume profile based balance zone and from there either the further rally or back to the downside. Technically speaking, I believe 
that as long as we have major support here and the volume profile of course we have the rising trend line here and here so as long as it holds for me the euro dollar under the bullish um, expectation um, so i would be looking for the buys and uh, one of the scenarios we should follow is of course the movement within this range then a potential breakout and continuation but of course there is an optional um, like further uh, drop for some bullish divergence to form and only then a rally this would be the scenarios i am after the euro dollar for the coming week the next one would be the pound dollar we discussed the last week same scenario uh, abcd and from these key levels look for further rallies on the pound so as we can see the pound dollar made a beautiful first rally like the euro dollar the question is what's coming next quick observation on the numbers will teach us that like the euro dollar the monthly is very positive only seven days and 24 hours are flat again expectations with the federal reserve if the fed cuts and hints for further cuts and the uk does not cut and say we should wait that should uh, theoretically boost the pound dollar to run so uh, like the euro dollar i believe the pound dollar should follow similar path uh, the, i believe that this weekly cycle is yet to complete i think that these key highs we have here which are the clear zone of supplies on the weekly chart should be tested and retested this is where i anticipate the cycle to complete and from there very likely to drop so until then i am bullish and expecting further rallies right now we do experience some beautiful abcd uh, and there are a couple of scenarios here it breaks up pull back and makes the final rally as expected the other scenario which could happen here that the whole correction that we started to see here is going to be basically in this sort of format a bit prolonged and only then the pound dollar will make its rally so if it makes one more movement here within this expanding uh, corrective range then i would be again uh, after buys each of these scenarios presented each of these waves presented here for me should be the sign for the buys either uh, the movement within this expanding range and then the rally after the divergence completes uh, or of course as i said before with a little bit prolonged correction something like that and then the buys we have major support here we have the trend line from the daily chart um, so every drop here for me is an opportunity to join the buyers the next one would be the dollar yen numbers before the chart so as you can see on dollar yen unlike the euro and the pound this one is very negative both the months and the seven days are super negative but these numbers present that as it goes and expands away off an average and four percent a month or three percent a month uh, a, a week that's usually beyond the normal ranges the market will tend to find the correction so with that idea in mind last week a quick follow-up we were talking about further move down the dollar yen though now is approaching to key levels we have okay, zoom out a little bit we have these major demand levels another major demand level together with this supportive zone so from this area i believe the dollar yen is going to form its bottom and begin the rally the way it looks right now uh, let's go back to the daily chart quickly the way it looks right now uh, as i shared with you the last week i believe we should see the price moving something like that here slowing down developing this divergence preparing the ground for the uh, rally and only then uh, i expect the price to flip and start making its uh, uh, reversal signs you can hear my cat here uh, meowing 
so we can we should start to see some false breakouts here fake lows being created and then four hour chart divergence together with the daily divergence should be the ones that will eventually trigger the buys so i believe the dollar yen is approaching to this very zone where reversal signs should start and build and provide a bullish run that's it for this week let me know what do you think about these opportunities how do you see them share your thoughts in the comment section uh, thank you very much for watching i hope you find value in the opportunities please don't forget to hit the like button if you did and if you are new to our channel i want to invite you to subscribe with the subscribe button below this video a few words in the comments would be great uh, help of course and i want to invite you to our trading family the home trader club to enjoy all the amazing courses we have there the media zone the real-time trading opportunities and real-time trading education access to the community myself and other traders so much more join our family with the link below this video in the description meanwhile thanks for watching best to you and yours wish you a wonderful weekend and great trading on the coming week i'll see you soon with more with more trading opportunities bye for now good trading